Right guys, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be looking at the iPhone. i um, going to see how we do an edit from start to finish on that. Um, I was going to take the one wheel out, like I always do, but um, no, I'm going to go manual today and take my, my, my little long board out. Get a bit of exercise at the same time. So yeah, do that, and then we'll have a look. We'll get some footage. I'm just going to go down the sea front, get some footage, um, and then we're going to edit the video from start to finish. Just see how the app works, and see if it's worth you guys using. So yeah, add my haircut as well. Hope you like it. So let's get into the video. <laughs> So, I came across a hidden gem that I hadn't really heard of, but someone did recommend to me, um, and it's called Prism Live. Now, Prism Live is primarily a, a live streaming app, but it does have a video editing suite on there that happens to be really good. So, that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to walk through a really quick 15, 30 second edit. Um, I've got some clips from earlier on where I went out and shot down the beach. So I'm going to edit those clips together, uh, walk you through it with me and show you how to use it. If you think it's something that might work for you, then by all means download the app, give it a go and in the comments below let me know what you think. I'll walk you through it now, show you the process of editing from start to finish and you can decide for yourself whether it's something that you think you might be interested in, um, editing your videos for social media etc. So let's get started. This is the live streaming screen so we don't really want to be dealing with this at all. So I'm going to click on this little circle in the bottom left hand corner uh, that takes you to your footage. Okay and there's the footage I shot from earlier. Um, so the ones that I want is that one, that one, that one. Then you just click add in the top right hand corner. Click edit in the top right hand screen. Then it takes you to the timeline. Okay. So now we've got all those videos, one after the other, on the Prism Live timeline. First thing I'm going to want to do is trim the clips down so I've only got the sections that I really want to use. And that's really simple to do. If you click on the scissors icon in the bottom left, it will take you to all the editing functions. And what you want to do is find the part of the clip that you want to cut, and you use the square icon with the dotted line through the middle to make the cut and it's as easy as that. So I'm going to just go through, tidy up all my footage and then we'll get back into it. Okay, so I've gone through, I've tidied up my footage, so I've got the sections that I want to use. The next thing that I'm going to do is reorder some of the footage so it's in a different order. It's, that's really simple to do. So all you do is you literally, you click on the click so I want to move this one. You hold down on the clip that you want to move and then you literally just move it across the timeline to wherever you want to put it. Okay, and that's all all right, and that's okay. I'm going to move this one. To there. So all the footage is in the right place now. Now what I want to do is I want to add some music. So that's really simple to do as well. All you do is you go down to the, the music icon, click on that. There's actually a, a free music library in here, all copyright free music. So you can use any of the music in here without having to worry about YouTube strikes or anything like that. So you can just use any of this music. There's some good songs on here as well. And, and add them into your, onto your video. You can choose how much of the music clip you use as well. So if you've got a 30 second clip, you just choose a 30 second version, which I'm going to do. Click add in the top right hand corner and that add the music to your clip. I'm going to edit the footage I've got to the music. So I'm going to do a little bit more tidying up and then we'll go on to the next stage. Okay, so I've edited the footage to the music now, and I've got a video now that I'm pretty happy with. If you wanted to add transitions, this, this is really nice. It's already put a little transition in between each clip, does it automatically. So you just 
find the, the transition icon in between each clip, click on that. It'll bring up a list of transitions you can use. So uh, let's try this up transition. So that's really nice little function there. So now we've added some transitions to our video as well. So the next thing you might want to consider doing is putting some color filters on there. Just finding a nice filter is usually more than sufficient for videos that you just upload into social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. So you just select the clip, find the filter you want. There's quite a few different ones to choose from. I'm going to choose this F2, which is film two. And then you just go into each clip and add that filter to the clip. Okay, F2. And the last one. Okay, click the tick button. So now I've added a color filter to the video. I've got my transitions. You can actually then add some other special effects. So these are just special effects overlays that you can add to your video. You don't have to. Um, but there's quite a nice VHS one on there that I think I'm gonna put on there just to show you how it works. And all you do is you hold down on the effect for the duration of the video that you want it to appear on. So if I want it on the whole video, I just hold it down for the whole video. So you click hold down. So you click and hold down and it'll, you can see it's, it's yellowing out the video. And that means that it's applying that effect to the video. Okay, so I've now added that effect to the video. So my video is pretty much done. If you wanted to add other stuff, there's other stuff you can do. You can add stickers, you can crop stuff, you can change the ratio of the video. You can speed up footage or slow it down. You can play around with the audio. You can add a little GIF if you wanted to. You can draw on it. Add some text. or add a caption. Um, so there's, there's loads of stuff you can do with it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna export out the video as it is. And then all you need to do when the video is finished, click save in the top right hand corner, click save in the bottom. And there we go. It exports the video 1080p to your phone. You can change the resolution in the export as well. The video is ready to go. You can then just upload it to all your social media. Bang, done. There we go, a really nice, simple, easy to use app you can use on your iPhone or Android to edit your films in phone and then upload straight to your social media. So I'm still gonna use my PC to edit most of my films together, but this, this would be a, a handy thing to use. When you're on holiday, you've got some nice footage on the beach, you just wanna do a quick edit and upload to social media, do it all on your phone and it'll look great, do you know what I mean? Or if you've cached video on your phone, if you're taking your drone out, Again, you can do a quick edit and upload to social media all on your phone. Easy, done. I'd say give it a go for sure. Prism Live, download the app. I'll leave a link in the description below. This one is a bit of a hidden gem and does all that you want it to do for free. Uh, no watermarks, no hidden extras. It's, it's all completely free. I just thought you guys might like to check it out and see if it works for you. So let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell so I can inform you of any other videos that I release. I'm trying to build a bit of a community here. So always very appreciated when you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to release content twice a week on a Monday and Friday at the moment. Uh, gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. So if you want to get involved in the channel, then please do subscribe. Hit the bell so that I can let you know when future videos are released. 
and yeah just generally get involved comment below leave me a comment i always like to read your comments i reply to every comment i get straight back to you um yeah and i'll see you in the next video